Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. And good morning, Dolly Parton. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Well, good morning to you. I've always wanted to talk to Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you got you got one of us anyway, Dolly. I know. Uh, I, I got the one that I need the most right now. How are you? Well, we are doing fine. I, I want to tell you a little something. We're recording this after our regular show to run back tomorrow, and usually at this time, everyone has cleared out, and I'm here by myself. But everyone stuck around knowing that you were going to be calling in uh, today. Uh, um, Gandhi's here and, yes. and uh, Danielle and Froggy and Scary, all of us. So we love you, Dolly. Just want to start off with well, that. Well, thank you. If I've got Gandhi and Elvis in the same room, that's pretty good. <laughs> good point. <laughs> it's, your, it's actually your lucky day, too. Hey, look, we have so much to talk to you well, about. we got a lot of fun stuff to talk about, so yes. we'll just get started. So. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so, so honored to have you here. Let's start with Holly Dolly Christmas, uh, that, which it came out in October. And uh, this is, I mean, do you have a love for, for Christmas music and holiday music more than other kinds of music? Is there something about it that just turns you on that makes you want to put a third album out? Well, I think everybody loves Christmas. And I have always been, you're too young to remember, but all back in my young years in my career, I always did Christmas movies, a Christmas special every every year for years and years and years. And so it had been a while since I'd had an album out. Of course, my, one of my favorite things ever was my album with Kenny Rogers. And, of course, uh, you know, that one plays every year. But I just was planning to do a new one so I could just do some of my favorites, maybe write a few originals. Because every songwriter wants to think that they might be able to write some Christmas classics and things that people, other people will record through the years. So anyhow, I just got on it, and since there was nothing much to do, we were kind of locked down. Uh, I thought, well, I'm going to be productive. I'm not going to sit on my butt and do nothing. So I just got to work <laughs> on it. I love it. And I love the collaborations you have on your Holiday Christmas album uh, with Billy Ray Cyrus, who is a good friend of ours, and Miley, another dear friend of ours, is yours as well. And Jimmy Fallon, love him, Willie Nelson, and also Michael Bublé, who, by the way, a little known fact, unknown fact, I pulled his zipper down with my teeth one time. Ask him about that story. <laughs> but anyway. Well, I'm going to talk to him today for a long time. We're doing some Zoom calls together. What did you do? I actually pulled his zipper down with my teeth. He actually, next time he came to visit, he put a padlock on his zipper so I couldn't get near it. Isn't that fun? <laughs> <laughs> today <laughs> that's kind of sad it's sad but true uh, but when it comes to and I, I love the other night when you were on with uh steve colbert and you actually sang a song and it made him tear up and cry is there a christmas song dolly that really brings you if not two tears close to tears when you hear it or sing it well i really love all those beautiful songs when you know like a little town of bethlehem and Silent Night, one of my favorite songs to sing, though, is the Go Tell It on the Mountain. It doesn't, uh, you know, it's not a sad song. It's more joyful. But I love the little town of Bethlehem because I can just picture that and the sweetness of that and the meaning of that. So I would say that more than any. But on my new album, one that brought me to tears while I was singing it and has for since it came out a few years ago is Mary Did You Know. That yeah. song just oh, yes. really pulled at me and I, I was recording it. I was just, you know, I had tears and was emotional. And I think that kind of showed in my voice too a little bit. Wow. I mean, you of all people, you, music has been a part of your life for, God, years and years and years and years. I, I can't, um, can you imagine a life without your music? I mean, it is, it, it connects you to the real you and to other people. It's the universal language of love. And no one does it better than you. Hey, Danielle, did you have a question for Dolly? Yeah, I would like, you're always such a positive person, so happy and everything. How do you stay that way? Well, you know, you got to work at being happy just like you got to work at being miserable, which some people <laughs> seem to. <laughs> but I try to, you know, I try to have a good attitude. I, I think I was born with a happy heart. It's a tender one, and I hurt, you know, I hurt all over when I'm hurting, but I try to find the good in everything and in everybody, and if I see something going wrong, and if the day starts out bad, I think, well, now I can go through this day uh, just catering to that, or I can just try to switch that around. So I just try to do that. It's just all about having a good attitude, I think, and I try to you know, try to lift up people, and I try to lift myself up when I do that. It always you know, helps me to 
to feel like I'm helping somebody else. Well, Aww. you're succeeding today. By the way, if you're yeah. just turning us on, Dolly Parton's here. We're talking about, now we're talking about her Holly Dolly Christmas album, which is available. In a few moments, I want to talk about your Netflix special. We've got to get into that. So much to talk about. <laughs> and also, you know what I love? I love your imagination library. And is there a way we could contribute to that and help out with that? Well, absolutely. All you ever got to do is just call the Dollywood Foundation, uh, you know, just uh, Dollywood, the imaginationlibrary.com. Uh, and it's, you know, that comes out of Dollywood. You know, our foundation is there. But, yes, you know, it's it's really something that I'm really proud of. And the way that we keep it going is people just making donations and, and the community getting involved, like a lot of businesses and banks and, you know, the community just making you know, making sure that it stays on its feet. And I do concerts, and, of course, I make donations and all that. But we have given away, as you probably know, almost 150 million books since we started 25 years wow. ago. And it's all, all over the world now, different parts of the of the world. So it's a, it's a really good program, and I'm as proud of that as anything I've ever been involved in. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to go to uh, your Dollywood um, Foundation website. Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, a book gifting organization that sends over one million free books to children every single month. Wow. That is overwhelmingly cool. Talk about leaving a legacy. You're leaving so many different types of legacies. And we're going to make a contribution for $5,000 today and just to keep it rolling. Oh, we, want, we want to help out. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hey, Froggy, <laughs> you have something to say to Dolly? I can't be the only person that ever thought this. When I was a child... And you and uh, Kenny Rogers had put out Islands in the Stream. As a kid, for some reason, and I found out that our executive producer, Nate, thought the same thing. I grew up my whole entire childhood thinking you and Kenny Rogers were married. And only to find out later that you weren't. Has anybody anybody else ever told you that? Yeah, we were people often said that. I said, yeah, we were married, but not to each other. But Kenny was so dear. I loved him to death. He was like a brother to me. We were just best pals. We were both warped and crazy and had a crazy sense of humor. We always had such a good time. And when he died, it was just like a, somebody in my family, you know, very dear to me, had passed away. But, of course, he'll always live on in all the great stuff he left behind, especially in all the great memories we made together. Wow. Wow. Hey, Gandhi, did you have something to say to Dolly? I just want to know, if I go to Dollywood when it's back up and running and everything is, you know, getting back to normal, am I going to see you there ever? What are the odds? Because I really would like that. (laughs) Well, what are the odds of you getting there? Are you saying what are the odds of me being there? (laughs) What are the odds of you being there? Because I'll make it over there at some point, but I want you to be there, too. I'm I'm there several times a year. Definitely, I'm there for the big opening, like when we open in the spring, and we we have our festival of nations. I'm there for like a a whole week, pretty much, like in March and April. And so, uh, there's a good chance that I may be there. I'd love you to come. It's been a crazy year this year, like it has been everywhere. We're still open. We're having a good uh, autumn season and a good hopefully a good Christmas season, but we're doing our safe distancing and, and all that, but we're we're still active. But when life is good again, you come on to Dollywood, and I'll if I know you're coming, I'll try to make it a point to be there. Oh, Dolly, my God, I love you. Have you ever ridden Thunderhead, <laughs> the most incredible roller coaster at Dollywood? I do not ride the rides. Everybody laughs at me because I don't, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a chicken in that respect. But I'm also... I get a little uh, motion sickness, and, I, and plus I wear wigs and all, you know, my push-up bras. I got too much to lose. But no, I don't leave. ride them. Everybody thinks if I don't ride them, they must be really scary. Uh, the kids get a kick out of it. But no, I don't. I don't get on the rides if, if I can help it. Sometimes I fake a, a photo op or something and act like I'm riding it, but I'm not really. <laughs> before, before we uh, we leave you and play some music here, uh, there's also this Netflix special. Uh, it's a holiday special, a holiday musical, actually original. It's called Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square. It's premiering November 22nd later this month. What what's it like? What's the, what are we uh, what are we going to see in this special, Dolly? Yes, I am so proud. Of this it's a full blown musical, and Debbie Allen, 
uh, directs and choreographs it. And this, I, I wrote 14 uh, original new songs. And so I'm really excited about it. I also get the star in it. I play an angel, but a fun angel, not a sassy one. And it has wonderful people in it, like Christine Baranski, Jennifer Lewis, uh, Treat Williams, and all kinds of wonderful stars that we've, we've got in it. But it's a story about a saving the community and it's the perfect kind of story for this year right now with all the craziness going on so uh hopefully uh it's it's going to be really uplifting and fun for everybody so hopefully everybody will enjoy that i think that uh debuts i think it's november the 22nd yes that's i it. think yeah yeah well you be sure to watch that because i know it's a lot of fun i really we had fun doing that we got that done last last of summer before the COVID hit, so we we were lucky enough to get it processed and ready for this Christmas. So that was fun, and and getting to do the Holly Dolly Christmas album. So I've had plenty to do getting out promoting it and recording all those songs with all those wonderful people. And so thank you for letting us uh, promote all of the stuff we got well, going on. Absolutely, well we love you, Dolly. Before we leave, can you just give us give everyone a nice uh, like a mantra? Give us something. <laughs> Like some words of advice from Dolly to get us through the holidays and everything we're going through in this world. Well, even though this world is crazy, we're not crazy. We know what to do. We just need to let the love light in our hearts shine. We need to find that light in one another and kind of mingle that together and just have a holly dolly Christmas, but a joyful and peaceful new year, hopefully. I love it. Cuddle up, cozy down Aww. Christmas. Of course, it's Dolly with Michael Buble. Thank you, Dolly. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. The Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge.